I do want to start by defining a couple of terms that I think yeah. that many of us probably are already familiar with, but I think a lot of us struggle to really understand when we're picking ingredients from the grocery store or choosing to make something, what it actually means when we say things like refined sugar, mm -hmm. processed foods, and whole foods. So refined sugar includes a lot of things, the classic white sugar, but also really any kind of sugars like cane sugar or coconut sugar, maple syrup and honey in a way, they are kind of like a refined product. They're not whole food in itself. So for example, if instead you decide to pick up some dates, dates are still whole food. So you still get the fiber, you still get the minerals, you get the full package. I'm not someone that wants to demonize every Thing. Absolutely not. It's not the thing that you consume once a week that is going to make the biggest impact on your diet. It's what you eat every single day, three times a day. That's what really matters. And when it comes to ultra processed food are basically foods that they are being stripped or everything that made them whole food once upon a time. And now they've become extremely processed, very low nutrients, things like candies, chocolate bars, biscuits, cookies. There's so many, it's impossible to list them all. So when you pick up a sweet potato, it's a sweet potato. There is not an ingredient list at the back. The sweet potato is the ingredient and that's your whole food. And that's where you want to have between 80 and 90% of your diet. 